Hey everybody. <clears throat> Stay tuned if you want to hang out and have a pipe and a chat. Hit my damn music. Well, hey there. Happy Thursday. So this week is flying. Of course, it would be flying because it's my last week of being off between classes. So four more, four more done. Can't wait. Eight down, four to go. Got the old bootstrap on today. Smoking my Asiki in 160 Apple. In it, Ghost of Frog Morton. That I married up, oh, three months ago, back on the back the first part of January. Hard to believe tomorrow's April 1st, but it is. But uh, Ghost of Frog Morton is half Lane HGL, half um, Stokeby's 17 English Luxury. I believe it's Stokeby's. Might be wrong, but it is English Luxury. If you really need the recipe and I'm wrong, I will gladly send it to you. Smoked it as soon as I mixed it up. It was eh, but uh, giving it three months to kind of marry together, it is much better. And the tin note is very much like Frog Martin. The old duck call timbre. Anyhow, I hadn't done a video for a while. Just thought I'd come on and say, hey, it is a nice day in North Carolina. Almost mid-70s. Um, fantastic. We're going to get some rain this afternoon. For probably, uh, you know, uh, mid-afternoon. Supposed to be a high percentage of rain, which we look forward to. I look forward to. We are getting killed with pine pollen right now. I call it the green death. I mean, it is covering everything, and it's just starting. So we'll have some weeks of pine pollen to look forward to. That stuff is nasty, and it gets thick like a green dust and just everywhere. And you can't keep it, can't keep it cleaned up. So you need some good rains, and then when it rains, it looks like paint. Um, it pulls up like paint would, and it runs like as the water flows. It's crazy. It's really crazy, aside from that, which is crazy, is the fact that <clears throat> if you're driving down a road and there's pine trees lying in the road and it's a windy day, it literally looks like there's smoke coming out of the trees. It's that thick, that thick of pine pollen. But if we can get through it and past it, then we're good to go. Um, you know, we're from the north, so we like to open our windows this time of year, and it just, this keeps us locked down. Um, I was joking with some family that moved down recently, Carolina. I said that's probably the first time those windows in their house have been open, because people in the south just do not, do not open their windows, ever. Which is a shame because it's really nice to air your house out. Some good old fashioned water today. I have a job interview this afternoon. I tell you what, interviewing is crazy. One, one this afternoon, one tomorrow, a couple next week. And you, uh, man, I've probably put in three, four hundred. At least, I would guess, applications. That's how aggressively I'm looking. And um, the amount of companies that just don't respond back is tremendous. But I do that. I do that. Go with it. Uh, if you follow LinkedIn and read what anybody posts, you would know that is the case. That's what drove me nuts about my last company. We'd post something and nobody looked at it for weeks. 
so I'd have to go out and try to recruit my own people, which was ridiculous, but whatever. I mean, this goes to Frog Morton. Really nice. Really nice. It's got just a, enough, just a little bit of sweetness. I like it a little more sweeter, but just enough sweetness to keep it interesting and enough smoke to keep it interesting. When I smoked it fresh, I thought, oh boy, it's kind of boring. I don't know if I'm going to like this. But now that it's married, and I have a feeling after it sets another year, it's really going to hit. So, I was on the old Nashville Mafia last night and uh, got knocked out by a power outage. So, hopefully, those guys are A-OK. -okay. They had some pretty wicked storms rolling through. And anybody else in that Tennessee Midwest area. And in the south, really. There's been a lot of tornadoes and junk down there, too. <clears throat> it's that time of year, though. Time of year. And I remember in school, see if y'all remember this, see how old you are. We do tornado drills. And um, some poor kid's job would always be if you sat along the windows, you had to open the windows. That was always a challenge because you had to remember open them during tornado, close them during fire. And if you got it backwards, it could be a problem for both. <laughs> you know. Um, so you had to kind of trust the kids sitting by that, uh, by the windows. That's why we never let Whitey or Kits sit by the windows because they couldn't keep it straight, whether open it or close it. We'd have fire drills, they'd open the windows, and whatever. But back to the point. So the poor kids sat along the windows, had to open all the windows. And then everybody had to grab a book out of their desk Run out into the hallway, crouch down, kneel down, put the book over your head and tuck your head down as close to between your legs as you could while kneeling. Good times. Do not miss those days. Fortunately, never needed it. Um, don't know why I remember that. I guess just because the storm's coming up here this week. So last weekend, this is the last weekend, I'll start classes next week, so we'll probably go on. I would like to go down tomorrow and open the camper. I probably won't stay. Uh, but maybe me and Mrs. Buckeye will take a trip down and um, open up the camper, get everything turned on, cleaned up, all, the, all of our mouse trappings picked up. We tried the Sonic mouse traps this year, so hopefully those really work because they hate the sound. We put those things all over. Had people swear by them. We'll see. Let's see what else is going on. Tried to get in Curmudgeon's house yesterday. He blocked a tree. Figured it out. I was too lazy to look for more ways to get in. I'm sure there's other ways. But happy birthday to you, belated Doug, the big 5-0. Um, wanted to come up today and, and visit, but interviews and all the other junk. Uh, and then Mrs. Buckeye works until about 6.30. Sometimes 7. So... Unfortunately, today is not a great day for us. But maybe this weekend. We'll see. If you're not there, we'll let ourselves in. As usual. Let's see what else is going on. The old bourbon game's really been hitting. Some stuff's been coming out. Seen some 1792 foolproof, which I haven't seen in a long time. So I was able a while back to get some of that. Um, it's that time of year in the spring when stuff comes out. Just kind of have to watch. Other than that, 
a lot of what's going on, man. I need to get back into making videos more regularly. Um, some milestones. I want to say congratulations to some guys. Uh, Corvette Jim Piper, uh, CJP, just went over 700 yesterday, I think it was. And Ethan, the parsimonious Piper, went over 750. So check out both those guys. And if you're sub to this channel, you're probably sub to that channel. So, um, But the link's pretty easy. I just never remember to post them. I could never do smoke rings. We'll do one try, and then we'll call it a day. Couple little ones. Weak. Nothing near Ed, the armchair piper. Anyhow, folks, I've rambled enough. That's what's going on here in North Carolina. The green death of pine pollen. Some weather to watch out for today. Goes to Frog Morton. Check it out. Blend you up a batch. You can get both components bulk, so you can blend up a little batch. You know, if you just grab an ounce or two of each and, and you know, mix them 50-50. I made a pound, so I'll have some for a while. But uh, it's pretty inexpensive with the bulk blends, you know. A lot of uh, drops have been coming out. <clears throat> um, some Sammy G dropped yesterday. I passed. I've got plenty of that in the cellar, more than I need. So, anyhow, that's all that's going on here in these parts. Uh, just staying busy. So, anyhow, you guys take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time. Wash your damn hands. Stay safe out there. Have a great day, everybody. As my clicker doesn't work, I always love when that happens.